Woo! What's going on guys? Arms Forum coming at you guys today with another video. And today's video is me going on a little bit of a rant. Okay? It's not the aftermath yet. This hat's all jacked up. You know, um, I didn't really do any writing for this. I didn't do any at all, actually. You know, I don't, don't have my book. Got my chain here. No book. No, no reading glasses. This is just going off my opinion. This is just going off of what I witnessed yesterday. <clears throat> now, before I start, I'm not going into panic mode. I'm not going to go into panic mode. I'm not going to sit there and say, we're, we're in the water. We're deep in the waters. We're in a lot of trouble. Yada, yada, yada. I'm not going to, not going to go that far. But I do have some concerns. I absolutely have some concerns, and I think they're justified. Um, you know, right off the bat, we went into Baltimore and at 5-1, and one, going up against a 4-2 and two team. Um, two first-place teams, one in the AFC, one in the NFC, being us. And we got ourselves, we got our asses handed to us. Absolutely handed to us. Now, some people will just go and t tell you, well, it's just one of those games. It's just one of those games, man. We kind of needed it, you know, to get woken up. That's one of those. Uh, 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 that's one of those look in the mirror type games, which 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 is fine. Um, you can have that attitude. You can have that mindset. Um, but I really think that this type of game, going up against a team like the Baltimore Ravens, um, it it has to, it it has to open up the eyes of Brad Holmes, Dan Campbell. And whoever else, you know, coaches, um, Sheila Ford, whoever witnessed that debacle of a football game, whatever the hell that was that they played, they didn't even get off the damn plane, okay? They did it. Got outcoached, outmanned, um, outplayed every facet of, uh, uh, of that you can think of. The Lions just got destroyed in. So... That's the type of game that I look at and I think to myself, okay, injuries are piling up. Injuries are piling up, this and that. We you know, we see this guy going down. Uh, we're down to C-plus players. Uh, we're down to C-plus players throwing in there trying to win ball games. And, you know, and, and you're going in at 5-1 and one thinking, okay, maybe we, can get it, maybe we can get away with this for a little bit. But for me, for me, and, and this is just an opinion piece too. So, you know, and... I don't want people to think of that I'm that, that, that I'm fully submerged in panic because I'm not. But there is a little bit of concern, like I said earlier. There's there's some concern, big time. Um, I think um, we do not have a pass rush. We do not have a pass rush besides Aiden Hutchinson, and even he's not getting home at times. You know, he's getting close sometimes. He has a game, and then he goes into, and then he disappears for a little bit. But he's doing it by himself. So. I can't get mad at Hutchinson, but he's he's on an island. Like we love guys like John Kaminsky, love him, try hard guy. That's what he is, though. He's a try hard guy. He'll give you 150% effort all the time. Charles Harris, he didn't even dress. Charles Harris didn't even dress. Then you got Josh Pascal coming back from injury. Don't really know what he really is just yet. Seems like a really try hard type of guy. Is the is the talent there yet? You know, that's that's a big question mark. And after that, who's our pass rusher? James Houston, the guy that is hurt and is being used in a wrong way. That guy. So, um, who else is a pass rusher? Romeo Aquara, who's a ghost. Julian Aquara, barely plays. It's time to make a move. You got guys like Will Harris, and hey, Will, Will has played good for us this year. He, you know, we have dragged that kid through the mud for the last three, four years now, maybe even longer. If it feels like, but he's out there, starting and playing off the ball, 10, 15 yards. Whatever the hell Aaron Glenn was doing yesterday was, um, I don't really know what the hell he was doing, but he was giving cushions like I've never seen before. But that's what happens when you have C-plus players out there trying to start for your football team, trying to start stop other starters on offense. It's time to make a move. It's, it, it really is time to make a move. And I don't want to hear nothing about, oh, well, we only got $6 million plus in, in, in cap room. Make it happen. Good teams make it happen. They really do. You hear about all these teams, and, and I know a lot of it's just garbage talk. But you hear about teams like the Philadelphia Eagles who are 6-1. and one. 
going after a guy like Patrick Sertan. Okay? Apparently. That's in heavy conversation. In heavy conversation. They're 6-1. and one. Why are they going after a guy like Sertan, like Patrick Sertan? Why? From the Denver Broncos corner. Why would they be doing that? They got like only four plus million dollars left in cap space. How can they even afford it? They'll make it work. You know, you see a lot of these fans, you see a lot of these, you see a lot of these fans, you see a lot of these YouTubers that only they they hold on to draft capital like it's gold. You know, and 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 we love the way Brad Holmes drafts. He does, but you have a small window here. If you think you're even a little bit competitive, if you think you have a shot to get to the dance, I don't see why they wouldn't make a move. You know, they've blown teams out of the water. And this isn't, a, this isn't a panic video. This isn't a panic video, but this is a video where I have concerns because not of only of the C talent, some of the C talent we got out there, but because of injuries piling up. We got a lot of injuries piling up. We don't know when David Montgomery's coming back. Jerry Jacobs going down. We don't have a pass rush. They need to add a piece. You know, then people will tell you, oh, well, we got the draft next year in Detroit. You can't blow a first, second round pick. What are you talking about? Like, what are you talking about? If you're ready to compete, make the move. I just don't understand why they can't make the move. People hold on to this stuff like it's gold, draft capital, talking about cap space. You make it work. You restructure. You do whatever you need to do. You release some guys. You need to do something. The Lions need to do something. They really do, I think. Because I think this is a really good football team. This is a very good football team. And I'm not pointing fingers at anybody. That was a team loss yesterday. That was just a team loss. You know, my aftermath is going to come later. I'll talk more about it. But this is more of a little bit of a rant. It's not a panic, but it's a, but it's a concern. I don't understand why this team would not want to better themselves. Everyone says Brad Holmes, he's financially, you know, the way he, the way he goes about business, he's financially minded. He's not going to go make a move. Well, then you don't think your team is good enough then. That's, that's my opinion. That's an opinion. They cannot go out every Sunday and think that they're going to beat really good football teams with some of the guys that they're putting in there who are replacing some of the injured guys. Like, I love Jameer Gibbs. He played awesome. He finally showed out a little bit. Bunch of catches, touchdown. He he touched the ball. I think it was, I think he was 20 touches altogether. I think it was like 11 carries, nine, nine catches. You know, a lot of it was garbage time, obviously, but he did his thing in that game. But the backups, come on, man. You got Craig Reynolds in there. You got Divina Zigbo. Muhammad Ibrahim goes down. He's probably done for the year. He's having hip surgery, I believe. Guys are just falling apart in the corners. You got, you got Will Harris starting on an outside corner, which was disastrous yesterday. Disastrous. Never, I haven't seen anything like that in a long time. That game reminded me of the Carolina Panthers game last year. Right off the start, I'm like, whoa. They just drove right down our throats, man. Scored. They were a three and out. Then they drove down again and scored three and out. I was like, this is the Panther game. This is the Panther game all over again. I knew it was done in the first quarter. Knew. Absolutely knew it. And you can't argue it. You can't argue it because you can just see the players out there. They're just not good enough. Some of the guys that are filling in for some of our starters. They need to make a move. Hutchinson's on an island, man. I feel sorry for that kid. Big time. We do not have a pass rush, ladies and gentlemen. If you guys think we do, you're mistaken. Two games out of, what, six? Doesn't mean we do. Just because we had a bunch of sacks in the Atlanta game. A bunch of sacks in, uh, I believe it was the Green Bay game. I think it was the Green Bay game. One of those games. There were two out of six games. Two, two or three out of six games. That's not a pass rush, even though Hutchinson is an absolute animal coming off the edge, but he's by himself. He needs a running mate. That guy needs a partner in the worst way. He does. And like I said, I love Kaminsky. You know, Charles Harris doing his thing. He didn't even dress yesterday, I don't think. I think he was a healthy scratch. Pascal is a mystery. Don't know what he is. Julian, Romeo, come on. 
We're not gonna we're not gonna win with those type of guys. We're gonna win games. We're gonna we're gonna win the North. I think we're I think we're gonna win the North. The North is pretty is is pretty much locked now. I I really think it is. We might win the North with eight wins. We really might. That's how bad the North is. Eight nine wins. But when it comes to the nitty gritty, when it comes to the playoffs, and we're playing better teams, we need dogs, man. We need another corner. We need another uh, edge rusher. Or possibly a running back. Do we need another wide receiver? We might need some things here to, to bolster this team up. And I know we're not going to get all three or four of them. Like, it's just a, pretty much impossible. But they need to bring in a piece or two. They really do. And I know what people are going to say. People are going to come at me and say, you don't know what you're talking about. This team's 5-2. and two. You're in a panic mode. Uh, the schedule is super easy down the stretch. Yeah, that's fine and dandy. We might win 12 games. We might win 12 freaking games. But when it comes down to the playoffs, are we going to be one and done? Because we don't have that pass rush. We don't have that corner. We don't have that middle infielder in the, in the secondary. Like what, like, what are we doing here, guys? What are we doing? I have Brad Holmes, I think, needs to make a move. And it's just my opinion. And I'm never, and I never come out and say, whoa, 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 this, that. But he can't hold on. He can't hold on to draft capital like, like he's going into his coffin. He can't. He can't take it to the, he can't take it to the dark side. You can't reuse it later on in life. Use it. Use it while we got it. If you think we're good enough, use it. I don't understand why we just wouldn't use it. Five and two, we're in a really good spot still. We're what? We're what? Two and a half, three up in the north? I'm not even worried about the north. My concern is down the road in the playoffs. That's my concern. Especially if you don't get the one seed, which you probably won't. You probably won't. It's going to be Philly or San Francisco if San Francisco gets healthier. It's just a little bit concerning, man. I'm not even really upset about the loss anymore. It is what it is, but if, but when you look at that, but when you look at the players that they got out there for the time being, it needs to be better. And I'm not talking about depth guys. I'm not talking about role guys. Go get a starter. Get a starter. And I'm not telling everybody to more. And I'm not telling Holmes to mortgage the future either. I'm not telling him. I'm not. I'm not saying be the Rams. F them picks. I'm not saying that. But they got to have that a little bit of a mindset where they might need to, to let go of some draft capital to get a player to get further in the playoffs and possibly to the dance. Because if this team thinks they're... I know a lot of people will be like, well, 2024 is the main goal. And it might be. It might be. I don't really know what Holmes is, is thinking. But maybe that's his thinking and he's going to splurge in 2024. But... The window in the NFL is so small. And when have they? When have the Lions been here the last time? 2014? 2013? 2014? Come on. What are we doing here, guys? Make a move. I just want to see a player come in. I don't want to be, I don't want to be that team that just hopes and prays that guys get healthy. Because that might not come. It might not come. You wait too long. And you think, okay, this guy's coming back. This guy's coming back. What if they don't? And what if they come back and they get hurt immediately again? We need guys that can play immediately, start, and produce. Now, I know people are going to come at me and say that I'm panicking. I'm not. I just want to let you guys know that. It's not a panic video. It's just I think it's time. If you think you're good enough, why not make a move? That's all. Because I think this team is very capable of making some noise. I really do. I think this is a good football team. We ran into an absolute buzzsaw yesterday. Buzzsaw. Nobody was prepared. I don't know what the hell they were even thinking. And, and you know, people are like, oh, man, they needed this, they needed that. And I don't want to hear that garbage. They needed this. It, that's annoying. Go out, make a move, man. Bring somebody in. Not saying you got to bring in four guys and mortgage future men in the game, you know what I mean? But you got to do what you got to do. You, you got to try to get better. You have to try to get better, man. And the guys that they're throwing out there who are filling in for other guys are just not not cutting it. And we got a ton of injuries, man. A ton. And that's no excuse. You know, I love the depth here, but some, you know, but the depth's even getting hurt. You get your depth guys going down on top of the starters. 
So, you know, just make a move. I, I think we need to make a move. Even if it's one piece, get a better corner in here. Get a better linebacker in here. Get somebody. Get 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 an edge. I I think edge rusher is is the is the biggest need next to Hutch, because he's 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 all by I and mean, he he's all by himself, man. He's all by himself. He's doing it all by himself. He's gassed. He's he's one hundred and fifty percent every single play. Doesn't let up. Get the kids some help. That's it, guys. Hope this video came out cross. Uh, you know, it's not a negative video. I think it's a positive video. Just go get some help, because I think we're I think we're a good team. I th I think we're a very good team. But the aftermath video will come later. Thanks a lot, guys. For pre appreciate you guys coming in. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button at the bottom right. Don't forget the notification bell up top. Don't forget to like, comment, video. Uh, like, comment, share this. Share this video. I really appreciate it, guys. Go Lions, one prize. Woo! Bang. Let's go, guys.